although news of a dictator's death is something people would normally cheer, South Koreans haven't been able to fully enjoy the news. Instead, Twitter has been filled with looming concerns over the future of Korean Peninsula. Many people are worried about power in North Korea transitioning to a 27-year-old, inexperienced and unpredictable heir, Kim Jong-un. One Twitter comment read, I feel really uneasy. Kim Jong-un, this jerk, will create big trouble. This user calls the young heir a fledgling. North Korea is in a real crisis. This fledgling will never be able to smoothly take over the regime. The timing of Kim Jong-il's death couldn't be weirder. People tweeted like mad about how his death coincided with memorable moments in South Korean President Lee Myung-bak's life. This Twitter user wrote, December 17th, which is the actual time of Kim's death, is the day President Lee won the presidential election. December 19th, the day North Korea announced Kim's death, is not only President Lee's birthday, but also his wedding anniversary. Kim's death has been a gift to Lee. Both local and international media have played this scene of North Korean people sobbing hard, somewhat hysterically, over and over again. Outsiders are wondering how these people who suffered under Kim's regime could cry for one of the world's most brutal dictators. More than a few South Koreans, including several North Korean experts, have suggested that these emotions are not genuine. One Twitter user wrote, I watched North Korean people who were being interviewed by North Korean TV. Everybody was crying, but their eyes were dry. One Twitter user wrote that they're not acting and that the regime's brainwashing scares him. Some people would tut-tut and say that they are probably just acting because security police are close by. But I believe that their tears are real, and that makes the whole situation much more problematic. North Korea has entered a period of national mourning, which will continue through the end of the year. Meanwhile, the outside world is busy making predictions both hopeful and gloomy. I'm Yu Li, Berlin, Asia. Now on U.S. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.